We will uh, we'll speed bag the first round here. Nick, I'll let you uh, read these off because we all know my pronunciation is very off. Um, so I'm assuming you're both going to be taking Bama in their 116 matchup here. Mm-hmm. Um, 8-9, Maryland, West Virginia. I'll let Corey go. Terps for me. What, who'd you say? Oh, Terps. I got Maryland. Okay. I had West Virginia, and I'm I'm probably going to take them minus two to start the tournament. Yeah, Ooh. after your Snapchat on Saturday. I, figured, <laughs> that, I don't know why that just, like, hit me so deep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was a little too, little too many uh, Modellas yeah. in me. There you go. Uh, <laughs> five twelve, San Diego State and Charleston. Uh, I got Charleston. Me too. Uh, Virginia and Furman. Uh, UVA. Me too. Uh, Creighton, NC State. Um, Creighton for me. Yeah, I feel like historically you want to take a couple of 11s, but I have Creighton here. Yeah. Uh, Baylor and UC Santa Barbara. Uh, I got Baylor. Baylor. Hardly newer. Uh, Missouri <laughs> and Utah State. Uh, Utah State. Love that team. Yeah, I have Utah State as well. Yeah. They're coached by um, U- UMBC's coach from a few years ago. So a guy oh, okay. Nice. In the tournament. Um, and then Arizona-Princeton, the 215. Yeah, I got Zona. Yep, same. Nice. Uh, let's go over to the east. I'm assuming both on Purdue and their 116. Uh, yep. No, Texas Southern. No, <laughs> um, this is a tough one. I know Memphis has been really, really hot lately, but an eight nine with them and FAU. Where do you guys lean in that one? I think Memphis for me. Yeah, me too. Uh, Duke and Oral Roberts going to put you guys on the spot here. I'm really curious to see what you have, Corey, but I, I have Duke, unfortunately. Yeah, I have Duke too. That that team's really scary. They actually have a dude that's like seven four. Also, he looks just like Edie. Uh, or oh, Roberts. That'll be really fun for Duke to deal with. Uh, Tennessee and the Raging Cajuns. Uh, Tennessee. Nice. Yeah, Tennessee. Uh, Kentucky and Providence. Providence. Yes, let's go. I have Kentucky. Um, love me some little roadie action. Uh, Kansas State and Montana State. Um, I have Kansas State, but one of my best bets for the week was Montana State plus nine. I think it's down to close to seven and a half now. But um, yeah, I, I think it's a team that'll that'll probably cover. Nice. Uh, Sparty and USC. Uh, USC. Okay, show's over. I have Michigan State. <laughs> I'm probably going to take them on the spread as well. I think oh, minus dear God. Two. Best of luck with that. Uh, Marquette <laughs> and Vermont. Yeah, I got Marquette. Yeah, Marquette. All right, going over to the Midwest, Houston and Northern Kentucky. Houston. Houston. Iowa and Auburn. Tough one. I took Iowa. I wasn't really sure on this one. Yeah, these teams are like just both not great. I, had, I have no idea, but I took Iowa. I hope Good their answer. shooting shows up. True, which it could. Uh, five and twelve, Miami and Drake. I got Drake. That's my loyal Chicago <laughs> this year. I have that's, that. Let's go. That's a very popular pick. Um, I'm torn. I don't know. I'm gonna wait to see. Um, if they're big man for Miami's back, but uh, I think I lean Miami right now. Gotcha. Uh, Indiana and Kent State. Uh. <laughs> I got IU. I'm taking IU. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got IU there. I think that's like the game that scares me the most. I think if we win that game, we're, we can make the Elite Eight. I love our matchups, but going um to get to the Elite Eight. But yeah, we just got to get past that game first. We need some momentum. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Iowa State, and then I think it's either Mississippi State or Pitt uh, for that 11 spot. Yeah, as of now, I'm taking the 11. Iowa State lost one of their best shooters pretty late in the year. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll probably if Pitt doesn't win, I'll probably change it because I think Pitt will win. But yeah, that's my pick for now. I I think Mississippi State's gonna win ugly and against Pitt and Iowa State. That if they play Iowa State, that's gonna be like a fifty to fifty one game. Yeah, so. True. Yeah. Uh, Xavier and Kennesaw State. I got Xavier. I have Xavier, but I think it's gonna be close. I'm taking Kennesaw State to cover. I think it's like at eleven right now. After uh, how shitty Xavier looked against Marquette, I, I don't hate that at all. Yeah, they, they match up well with them, and um, 
Kennesaw State's played like three power six teams and they've kept it close. So I think they keep that rolling. Uh A and M and Penn State. It's a tough one for me. I I ended up taking AM. I think Penn State was more like that Georgetown run from a few years ago. Um, but yeah, I like AM. Yeah, uh, me as well. Texas and toothpaste you. <laughs> I got Texas. Yeah, Texas. Uh let's go down to the West. Uh Kansas and Howard. Kansas. Kansas. Yeah. Uh Arkansas, Illinois. Arkansas. I'm taking Illinois. Ooh. And the points. And St. Mary's VCU. I've been flip flopping. I'm on VCU right now, but that could change after I cuddle with my bracket tonight. Maybe there I'll you go. <laughs> yeah, I have VCU. <laughs> nice. Uh Yukon and Iona. I like Yukon. Okay. I don't know. I have Yukon. Uh TCU and then Arizona State or Nevada, I think it is, right? Yeah, I like TCU. Same. Uh, Gonzaga or Grand Canyon? I'll take the Zags. Yeah, I have Zaga in my Elite Eight, so I'm taking them. Uh, Northwestern and Boise State. I like Northwestern. I, that's a tough one, too. I've heard good things about Boise. I haven't watched them much this year, but, yeah, I like Northwestern. I have Boise State because I feel like I took too many Big Ten teams and they are just been so sus in the tournament lately. They're so bad in the tournament. Yeah, it's because the officiating is so horrible all year. They don't, they're don't; they not prepared to like play normal basketball, I feel yeah. like, in the tournament. So. Yeah. Uh, last one, UCLA and UNC Asheville. Yeah, I, I like my champ, UCLA, here. There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. I think that, that wraps it good. up, boys. Yeah, that was a good time. Nice. Got yeah, my whole first round of my bracket. Going to end up going 50% on that, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marquette's going to lose to Vermont. <laughs> oh, Honestly, I, I feel the same way as what you were describing about Indiana, where it's like, that's the toughest game right there. If they can just like prove right. to themselves that they can actually win a fucking tournament game. Oh, yeah, exactly. Get some Dude, Scott was momentum. on the three point line in a defensive stance for like the entire <laughs> game. So oh, like, how can I not back a team? Like he's that, on right? the he's on the court constant. Every team we play, like all their fans on Twitter, are like get Shaka off the court. And it's yeah. like, nah, he stays. <laughs> it. It's like, what are you talking about? He was here when you guys got here. I yeah. don't like. <laughs> um, any last crazy predictions you guys have here? Um, any big upsets you see coming at all, or just gonna sit back and enjoy the chaos? Yeah, I mean, I think Drake could potentially be the Loyola this year. I think that's a that's a really good team. I think if anybody, any of like the double digit seeds are going to get deep, I think Drake has a good a good uh, chance to do it. Yeah, for me, it's Oral Roberts. I think their toughest game is going to be Duke, and if they get past them, I think they're breezed by Tennessee and Purdue. They match up well with Purdue, so yeah, I could see the winner of that just making the Elite Eight. So I might look into the odds for that. Sounds good. Well, we really appreciate having you both on. We'll absolutely have to do it again next year. So thank you both once again and have a good one. Yeah. Thanks. Boys. Thank you. See good you guys. Time.